I'm surrounded by power supplies and I couldn't be happier. These are Cougar power supplies. You may not have heard of Cougar power supplies. They're made by HEC. HEC makes awesome products. Uh, Max, come, come help me with this. I know you're busy, but, uh, but you know a lot about these as well. And you can get pretty excited about these. This is going to be a very exciting video about some very exciting power supplies. I could be right here and censored. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's Randy's job, to oh. be censored. All right. How about Kilroy? Yeah, right now we've got four. There are four on the table. One of them's in a system. I'll show you one of these running. Uh, but but uh, these are really special power supplies because the efficiency on all of these is over 90% or close to 90%. Pretty epic. Pretty epic. In fact, Johnny Guru, he was reviewing the 700 watt, the gold one that's down here on the bottom. See so yeah, how the gold, silver rating, and the bronze rating. The bronze rating is around 89, silver is close to 90. This one gets over 90% efficiency. Now, Johnny Guru, did you, you read the article, right? Uh, the gist of it. Come over here, this is weird. No, I, I, got, I like this. Okay. All right, fine. You are the power supplies. <laughs> so, Mr. Power Supplies, <laughs> what did Johnny Guru say about you? Um, he was pretty much saying that he's never seen something so efficient at such a high wattage. Like, it's just crazy. I mean, it's a HEC manufacturer, so you're going to get a really good product anyways. Yeah. All right, let's talk about what goes into, the, uh, into these that makes them so efficient and makes them so high quality, other than the fact that they, they have a nice look to them. They are quite sleek. A now inside here, we, each one of these has a 140 millimeter hydro bearing fan. It means it's, uh, they're made out of the fans made out of water, right? It just splashes water around inside there. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. but the bearings in the fan themselves are very silent, virtually silent. We right. plugged one in earlier, and you couldn't even hear it running. It was kind of scary. Right, and, and they're also temperature controlled. So as the temperature rises, the fan goes faster. But even then, it's almost silent. So they're extremely quiet. And having the hydro bearing fan means it's going to last a lot longer as well. Uh, beyond that, uh, let's see, we have rapid switch technology, which basically means that the uh, wattage that's normally lost with most power supplies is not lost. The frequency is a little closer together, whereas the frequency with some other power supplies mm -hmm. that are less efficient, yeah. the frequency is further apart. There's more space in between the frequencies. Therefore, more power is lost. So that's taken care of. Another thing that's nice about these, the Japanese capacitors. Japanese capacitors are always a good thing. Yes. Lasts a lot longer. I've had a few power supplies with a Chinese manufactured power, you know, capacitor. I had the name of a Japanese capacitor. It was like ah, they tricked you. It was a tricky thing. Like, but they blew up literally within yeah. a month. Well, mo most of the uh, most capacitors are rated around 80 degrees Celsius. These are rated at 100 degrees Celsius. So that's going to make this last longer. Number one, that's going to make it work more efficiently. Number two, so that's nice as well. And uh, let's go through and I'll tell everyone what the actual efficiencies on all the units are. Now, we'll start with the 1,000 watt because that's sitting on top. Now, the 1,000 watt gets around 89% efficiency. That's what they've advertised in the box. Real world test, 85 to 89%. Uh, down here, we have the silver. Uh, this is the, uh, which one is this? The, the that's 700. The, yeah, 700 watt. Mm -hmm. Now, that one gets close to 90% efficiency. Um, and then the, the, the 700 on the bottom that's gold rated, that gets 93, up to 93% efficient. That is ridiculous. And also, we've got an 80, 850 uh, watt that's in one of the machines over there, and the 850 watt gets up to 91% as well. I think I said the middle one here. Did I say 90? It's 91, up to 91%. Yeah, 91%. Just ridiculous. Uh, now, I'm going to go through all these and tell you what the cabling is. I'll start with the 700 because the only difference in the 700 and the 1000 watt, just the 1000 watt has the exact same base plus a few extra SATA and some extra options for PCI Express. And of course, it's 1000 watt as opposed to 700, so you can run bigger graphics cards. So I think I can take the cabling from here. What do you want to add before you get back to work? Oh, uh, no. Besides the fact that I would actually recommend these because that's pretty high efficiency for a wattage at that size. And also, I like the fact that, take a look at this, 1,000 watt and the uh, 700 watt, same size. And let me go ahead and say, since I'm talking about the size on these. Uh, what right. he's trying to say is 150 millimeters by 165 millimeters by 86 millimeters, which is standard power supply size, standard ATX size, which yeah, is kind of crazy. When I saw the 1,000 watt, I was like... That is a small 1,000 watt power supply, and I think Johnny Guru said the same thing because he was testing the 1,000 watt. Yeah, it's pretty much standard size 1,000 watt. So if you need a, you know, a solution for a lot of power, but you have a smaller size case, that's a, that's a good way to go. And for any of you Duplos out there who can't convert millimeters to centimeters and centimeters to the inches and all that, let's go ahead and talk about the size. In inches, it's 5.9 inches by 6.49 inches by 3.8 inches. So there it is for all the Duplos. Perfect. In the world. I'm going to get back to work. Yeah, get back to work. I'll talk about the cables. You tell these guys about these awesome cabling, which is snazzy. It is snazzy. Look at this threading. Okay, all these units are modular, and they also have sort of a snake coming out the back with everything that's standard, which means you're... Uh... Let's take a look here. We'll start off with the silver-rated 700-watt power supply, and I'll tell you what comes with that, and then I'll tell you what's added 
for all the additional units so you'll have a good idea of what you can hook up to these uh, power supplies. Now, first off, we of course have the 24-pin uh, connector for your motherboard. It's uh, 20 plus 4, so we have that. We have tons of CPU connectors. We have one 8-pin, one 4-pin, and then we have two more 4-pins. That's a 4 plus 4, making another 8-pin if you need that. So that's great for overclocking. Um, we have a floppy adapter. Uh, we have one of those with the uh, 700. We have six of the uh, Molex with the 700. We have eight SATA connectors. And we have two 6-pin PCI Express and two of the 8-pin PCI Express. All right, moving on, let's talk about the uh, 700 Gold. The only real difference in the uh, Gold model, the Gold does have two extra SATA connectors, making nine in total. It only has one of the 6-pin PCI Express connectors, and you have three of the 8-pin PCI Express connectors with the Gold model. With the 850 watt, we have 10 SATA connectors, and we have four of the 8-pin PCI Express connectors. They're 6 plus 2. So you don't get any of the 6-pin PCI Express, but you have four of the 6 plus 2-pin. And with the 1,000 watt, we have 12 SATA connectors, and we have two 6-pin PCI Express connectors, and four 8-pin, which are 6 plus 2 for the PCI Express. So that's how they all differentiate, differentiate there. Before we go, I want to take a quick tour of all of these products. Now they all have color schemes based on their rating. The gold one there you see has the, uh, look at that, has the gold pattern. Right here is the, uh, an octagonal honeycomb design there with the fan behind it. All around, extremely sleek units. Large honeycomb design uh, for airflow all the way around. And as you can see there, modular design in the back and it's a uniform design so you don't have to hook up Molex connectors separately and SATA connectors. They're all the same size, so it's very easy to use. And like I said, the most common things that you're, almost everyone's going to need are connected already to the unit, so you won't have to worry about plugging those in. And uh, I do want to take a look at the uh, Silver 700. There's that. It does have the orange on top. Nice color there. Take a look at the... This is the 1,000 watt, and the 1,000 watt has just about more orange than any of them. Even though it's bronze rated, the center is not bronze like the other ones. The outside is bronze. Well, it's not really bronze. It's sort of a hot orange. What do you think, Eric? Sort of a really metallic orange. Metallic orange, yeah. This looks pretty cool. I mean, what do you think? Is this a color for you? You drive this home? Want to take, want to take this for a spin? Take it off the lot for a little while? All right, so that's it. Here's some footage of one running in a system because it's so sexy. And uh, again, these are some of the most efficient and powerful power supplies I've ever seen. Actually, I think this is, uh, these are the most efficient power supplies I've ever seen in my entire life. So anything else to say? I'm pretty much finished here. You're busy. He's busy. All right, I'll see you guys next time.